I'd like to thank everybody for joining our webinar today. This is our Getting Started webinar. And we're going to start out by reviewing some of the basic features of our Premier program. Uh, during this time, please enter any questions into the question box, which is located in the GoToMeeting dialog box on the right-hand side of your screen. We will answer all questions at the end of the presentation um, and understand that we can only answer program-related questions in this webinar. If you have specific questions or issues you need help with, please call us or send an email to support at easyclaim.com. Uh, also in the GoToMeeting dialog box uh, is a handout document if you are interested. It's a copy of the Premier Quick Start Guide and can be used to review what is covered today. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Everyone should be able to see my screen. And the first thing I would like to do is show you how to navigate around the program. Starting up at the very top is our ribbon bar. And I want to point out that we have our help topics available up here, and it's visible regardless of whichever ribbon bar you happen to be on. When we click on the help topics, it'll open up. And you can sort either by context, index, or a keyword search. Okay, back to the program. So on the left side, you're going to find what we refer to as our quick access panes. This is where you'll find a list of your patients and claims. So Premier uses a grid layout for our patient list um, and claim list and really anything listed in the program. When working with these grids, there are a couple mouse clicks to be aware of. With a single click, you can focus and highlight a patient. A double click will open up the patient. And if we do a right click, we'll get our action menu. The grids are a great tool to find and organize information. You can sort, filter, And you can also add or remove columns. And we can right click. And we have a whole list of here of different columns that would be available for you to choose from. For this example, I'm going to pull in our primary payer column. So the system has uses grids all throughout the program, specifically in our find fields. The find grid, you can also use your filter. You can also sort, you can add and remove columns, just like you can over here in the quick access column, or grid, I'm sorry. So this is kind of navigating around the program. Also, if you notice on your grids over here on the left-hand side, once we highlight a patient, that patient's information is viewable down here. And we're going to do a double-click to actually see or edit that information. So let's quickly navigating around the program and looking at your data that's already in there. Let's talk about setting the Premier program up. We always have you set up your libraries first. So I'm going to open our payer library. The payer and physician libraries typically need to be set up when you first get the program up and running. Some customers like to populate everything at the beginning. Others like to add as you go. Either way is fine. So for the payer library here, we can list the payer name, payer address, and also payer ID, which is very important for electronic billing. Uh, you can get your payer IDs typically online and from your clearinghouse. And information regarding each of these fields is available within the help file.
And next we have our physician library. The physician library holds the different entities that are required for claims. These include the billing provider, rendering provider, facilities, and so on. And just like the payer library, this library will need to be populated before entering any patient or claim info. The more important things to point out here are this is where you're going to enter in MPI and our tax ID information. Now that we have our libraries populated, we can start entering some patient data. Now before I show before I show you the patient screen, I would like to mention that Premier integrates with many of the popular EMR softwares, such as Practice Fusion, Amazing Charts, WebPT, and many others. The reason I mention this is because integrating with an EMR can prevent a lot of double data entry. Our website has more information about which EMRs we integrate with, and if yours is not on the list, we can contact them and find out if it's possible. So I'm going to open up our new patient screen here. If you see, we kind of have our screen set up into different sections. We have our patient demographic information located up top here. Contact information is over here on the left with insurance information on the right. As we move further down, we can find additional claim information, statement information, and we also have patient notes that are available down here at the bottom. And once a patient is entered, we can create a claim. The easiest way to create a claim is to click the New Claim button in the Patient, patient Search pane, which is over here on the left-hand side. And also remember, if you're integrating with an EMR, the claims are created for you. So if we click our Add Claim button, we get a new claim tab that opens up. And I'd like to show how this claim screen is split into three parts. Up top here, we have our Bill to Selection, which will show you who you are billing. We have our chosen diagnosis codes. And over on the right-hand side would be any other various claim-related fields. In the middle, we have our dates of service. So if we saw this patient yesterday, we click on the second, we can create our service line, and I'm actually using a template here that's pulling from our previous service. And at the bottom here, we also have our claim notes, just like we had our patient notes. Um, Easy Claim tries to make it as simple as possible to create claims. And so you see the simplest way was to use to our calendars to click on the date. If you had multiple services, we could click on here and enter in our additional codes. The templates can be used for a lot of repeat billing. And if you need to see a preview of your claim to see what your data looks like, you can come up top here and look at a claim preview. Once the claims are created, it's time to send them to the clearing house. Um, Easy Claim partners with Trizetto for clearinghouse services. They are a great company to work with, and their services are fully integrated into Premier, which you can see in this and other webinars. If you already have a relationship with a clearinghouse, no problem. Premier is compatible with any clearinghouse out there accepting the ANSI 837 file. So we're going to go into our Send Claims button. And in here, you will see your list of claims that are ready to send to the clearinghouse. We have a simple check all button. I always recommend doing a check for errors to make sure that we didn't miss anything. And 
You know, see, it looks as though we weren't quite on the ball for a couple of these claims, and we have some missing data. So in this analyzer report, you can actually jump right to the claim to fix any mistakes. So it looks for claim number 41 here. Uh, we are missing our insured ID number and missing patient date of birth. We can go right to the claim from this report. It'll give us an opportunity to correct our information. And we can carry in his date of birth. Correct the claim. And we can go into this one. It looks like we're in a place of service code located here on the service line. Enter in our code, save our change. And these claims are now ready to be uploaded. Click in the Send Claims button, or we'll send them off to the clearinghouse. This will generate ANSI 837 EDI file and allow you to upload the claims. Once the claims have been submitted, it's time to check for any reports that may be available. And we do that in our view EDI reports available here on the home screen. I will start off by saying it's very important to stay on top of any EDI reports from your clearinghouse. And Premier does make this easy by automating the process. You can simply use our Get Reports button. And we'll go out to the clearinghouse and check for any available reports and download them. Uh, I would like to note that this feature is only available with an SFTP connection. Um, with that SFTP connection, that means everything is contained within Premier. You don't have to go out to the Clearinghouse website to get your reports. Premier will do that for you. So all new EDI reports will come in. New ones will be lit listed at the top of your grid here, and they will also be in a bold font. To process any of these reports, we can simply double click. And depending on the type of report, different results will appear. This is just an acceptance. Let us know that our batch was accepted. Once you've viewed a report, it's important to archive it. Keeping your main report screen here clean. You can also go in and show any archived reports by clicking on our Show Archive button down here at the bottom of the screen. That pretty much sums up uh, getting started in the Premier program. We covered a little bit of the layout of the program, including our quick access panes, how to start setting up your libraries, creating a claim, sending the claim, and also checking your reports. So this concludes our webinar, but um, before I move on to any, answer any questions, I just wanted to say thank you for joining today. And please take a look at our webinar calendar at easyclaim.com for part two of this premiere series that goes deeper into EDI reports, working denied claims, and auto-posting.